if you have seen the collective reading, you would know that I am uh, currently hard pressed for time. <laughs> so what I'm doing is uh, doing the readings directly onto YouTube with minimal editing. Okay, so I'm going to pick three cards to begin and then I will... Um, you know, pick more if necessary. And first we have Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is about manifesting. So this week, Libra is all about manifesting. And what is it? Have you, you know, have you worked with the full moon energy that just happened yesterday to manifest something that you want in your life? Now, if you have not, it's not too late. So make a list, you know, about what is it that you wish to manifest uh, for your future, Libra. Now, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, okay? So I would encourage you to watch all three of your signs in your birth chart to get a complete view. Now, if the reading resonates, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. This week, also very important for you to remain calm and diplomatic in your negotiation and communication. Yeah, definitely, because um, I feel for some of you, something takes place uh, something emotional takes place and you want to go into hiding. You feel a little bit hurt and maybe small in that feeling. And so when that happens, you find that you're not able to keep your equilibrium and you seem to throw everything out of the window and you're not looking forward. This is a forward-looking card, right? Telling you what is it that you need, you want to manifest and, you know, for your future. But something happens that maybe throw you off course. So the, the whole idea for you, Libra, is to remain calm. No matter what happens, remain calm, be future-focused. And yeah, when you're future-focused, you find that the energies of connection, right, um, keeps you going and then you get the support of people that you care about. Um, and that will, you know, when you get the support of people that you care about, it feels much more, it feels lighter. The load is not so heavy and you can balance yourself better. I like this, you know, Three of Pentacles. This is about teamwork, collaboration. So you might want to rethink that connection that you have with someone if uh, something emotional happens and there is um, maybe a temptation is to is to cut the other person off. Uh, but what this energy is saying that you might want to rethink that and to look at it more as a collaboration, a teamwork kind of energy so that everyone benefits. It becomes a win-win. Okay, so uh, interesting message here for you this week, Gemini. Let's see. What else does Gemini need to know? We're going to use a different deck. Do we need more info for... Did I say Gemini? For Libra. What else does Libra need to know? Okay. And we have here Five of Swords. Yeah. Uh, five of Swords energy is about this agreement. So, there is a need for you to look into that. Right? Something comes up. Remember, I said... Something comes up uh, that makes you feel like you want to retreat and withdraw from your emotional energies. But you're encouraged to move forward and not to be afraid. Because you do need to deal with some of the uh, past disagreement or energies of defeat. Five of Pentacles. Mm, don't isolate yourself. This is energy of isolation and despair. Right? These, these th three are like, this, talking about the same thing, the same situation. Okay, so don't let the temptation of retreating into your cave to stop you from going out there to live your life because Page of Pentacles is asking you to, you know, it's telling you what do you want to do? What, what kind of future do you want to manifest? And when you have an emotional hiccup, you retreat then you're not going to gain the benefits, right? There are a lot of benefits to this. There's there's good manifestation energies here. And then we have the King of Swords. King of Swords is telling you that it is important to act from integrity, impo important to keep uh, morals high, to allow the, your morals to be your guiding light. And I feel that could take you far. Don't be afraid of what may come up. Look at this. Very nice. 
Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing energy, so you might want to lean into the nurturing energy of Queen of Pentacles. She is also very generous with her care, with her time, with her resource. So this is good energy to lean into, not to retreat. Okay, remember this. Okay, Libra, do not retreat. Keep that balance within you by moving forward, keeping your heart open and seek help if necessary. Let's pick an oracle for you, Libra. And let's see what the oracle has to say to you for this week. It's a very interesting reading here, Libra, because, yeah, it's talking about your emotional state. Okay, and we have here making new friends. You have uh, making new friends energy here as well, three of cups, right? It's about friendship, making new friends. So you have the support of people around you, new location. So you might want to move position, not necessarily move house or move country, right? New location, we can interpret it as uh, new direction, new new place to meet people. It could be a, you know, a different networking event that you want to go to, something like that, okay? So have a wonderful week, Libra. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel if the message resonates. See you then.